Welcome back, Java Minecraft players that want to play Forge mods on their Android phone using Zalith Launcher. Today, I'm going to show you how to do that. But first, you need to hit that subscribe button because I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about using Zalith Launcher to play Java Minecraft on your phone. On your Android phone, that is. Sorry, iPhone users. Get a life. Just kidding. So the very first thing we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to take note of our basically our file folder structure which hosts all of our games if you didn't watch that video about how to set up this folder right here which allows us to access it at any time then go do that now now basically in our last video i set up fabric mods now in this video we're going to be worrying about forge mods so forge mods if you click this download icon and we go down to our bottom page here which says mod loader you're going to click on forge and click the search icon now this is going to show everything that is associated with forge only okay now the thing about this is that you can change the platform so modrinth or curse forge up to you you can change the version i'm going to use the version of 1.20.1 because that version is the one that has a lot of that horror mod placement it's Halloween season, so maybe you wanna play some horror mods on your Android phone, just like those big guys do. So maybe you do wanna do that, maybe you don't, but this is basically how you do it. So Curse Forge or Modrinth, up to you. You can even search things like the broken script, and let's see if we can find it. The broken, click done. There it is right there, the broken script for Forge or NeoForge, but that's for a different video as well. Click on return, click return again. Now, how do we install this? Now, the very first thing I like to do is click on this version, click on install new version. Now scroll down, keep going, keep going until you see 1.20.1, .1. click on it. Now click on Forge. Now click on the latest version of Forge. Now I'm going to name this my Forge Horror Pack, okay? Forge Horror Pack, pack, done. Now we're gonna click on this icon right here that shows a download button or a download arrow and wait for it to install the necessary files and folders that we need to on our internal storage of our device. Now stay tuned for the video that's gonna show you things inside of that folder. I kinda do along the way as well, which basically allows you to access all your file folders and stuff like that. So that if you need to copy saves or back up your mod packs and stuff like that, then you can. It's basically the easiest thing to do because it's like having a computer, but all of your files are stored on the internal storage where you can access them instead of the data directory. Now that everything is ready to go, we're going to click on our version above launch game. Now you're going to scroll down to our Forge Horror Mod Pack, click return, and click on the settings icon. Now you can go to your mod management. As you can see here, we don't have any mods. And you can go to your version settings. You can change this icon to something else if you want to. It's up to you. Now, I'm not going to do anything like that. That's going to be for another video. Click on cancel, click home, and then we can go and download some mods. So what I'm going to do is click the download icon, click on my MC version. Now, I like to do this just so that I know that it's only going to show the versions that I want. Click on the search platform, click Modrinth. Now, I'm going to scroll down until it says Mod Loader, click on Forge, and click on Search. Now, this is going to show me all the mods that are available for Forge only, okay? Now, I'm going to download the broken script, just because the broken script is pretty popular, very easy to set up, and it also tells you certain things that you need to know, which is very important when you download mods. Click done. Now, let's click on the broken script, okay? Now, it's going to allow us to select between NeoForge or Forge. Green tells you, hey, you have Forge currently installed. This is what the pack is going to be for your mod. So make sure you click on that, click on the latest version, click confirm. Now, for whatever reason, this doesn't tell us that we need dependencies. Now, the reason why I'm telling you this is because I'm going to go in and I'm going to click on launch game. I'm going to show you the crash that's going to happen. Not all mods tell you all the dependencies that you need for the mods to work. But we have our forge loader, which will tell us what is going to happen is basically it's going to say, hey, you're missing something. It's not going to be straightforward, but you will start understanding how to read things if you pay attention to certain things like this. As you can see here, javalang class def found error. That means that there's no class found that is required for us, which is this geo entity for gecko library. And this is the Gecko library, and what does that mean? Well, some people might be like, I have no idea what you just said. Basically, it's saying, hey, there's no class called GeoEntity. This is the library that we need that 
requires us to actually look for that class called geo entity so how do i know that well that's because i'm a java developer and i kind of understand how to read things so let's go back into zaleth launcher and we're going to click on the download icon again and we're going to search for gecko so g-e-c-k-o and there it is right there the gecko library now click on that and wow it's going to scroll all the way down until we see the green icon and click on the latest version as of today and click confirm click return return and return and now we can click on launch game now some mods will actually tell you hey you need this dependency or this library and i'm going to show you an example of that in a few seconds i just want to show you that we can get this mod loading now because we downloaded that gecko library and here we go he is no more and yes that means that we are inside of the mod and as you can see here if we go into mods we click on the broken script you can configure it if you have any configurations but this one doesn't have a configuration file click done now how do you get out of this because you can't click quick game well click on the settings icon click on force close and that'll close out a zealoth launcher now go back into zealoth launcher click on download this is going to be a bonus click on moderant we're gonna type in vein miner, okay? Now again, this is just for an example so you understand that some mods will actually tell you if there is a mod for it. Actually not vein miner, let's go with ore harvester. Vein miner doesn't wanna show up here for some reason. So there it is, ore harvester. Click on 1.20.1, click on the latest version. And as you can see here, it says, hey, this is required for you to use the ore harvester mod. Click on it. Now it'll scroll all the way down to the version and make sure you select the right version, select the latest version, click confirm. Now you can see on the right hand side that we're still in the collective. See, we're still in the collective. Now we're back in the horror harvester. Now we can download the latest version of the horror harvester. Click on download, click confirm, click return, 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 click launch game. And then you're going to be on your way to using the ore harvester mod while using the broken script in your forge mod pack that you just created because technically you just created a mod pack which you can share with your friends but subscribe to the channel because i'm gonna have a video about how you can do that because it's very easy if you set up minecraft java edition on your phone properly like i showed you how to in this playlist have a nice day go enjoy playing minecraft java edition on your android phone and share with me what you experienced while playing java minecraft on your android in 2025